Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing the second installment of my Testing Aldi makeup video. If you haven't seen the first video, I will try and remember to leave a link to it down below. Basically, I did like pretty much a full face of Aldi makeup, let you guys know my thoughts, created a little look, did like a little wear test and everything. So if you do wanna know my like full thoughts on the products, check out that video. Today, I'm basically gonna be comparing the products to the originals. So this is the Aldi bronzer. This is Benefits bronzer. As you can see, there are a fair amount of similarities here. Very, very similar. So yeah, today I'm gonna be taking all the Aldi makeup that I've tested out. I found dupes for pretty much everything apart from one product, the lipstick. Really couldn't find a dupe for that, um, but I did find something kind of similar. So basically no dupe for the lipstick, sorry. Bad stuff. So I picked up a bunch of products that Aldi is like supposed to be duping. I'm gonna do half face Aldi, half face a like more high end version. We're gonna see how they compare, see if they actually are dupes or if they're just like packaged to kind of look like dupes, see how it wears. And that's about it. So let's get into it. What ears have we got? Oh, it's, let's bring out the little froggies. Haven't used these in a while. I missed you, mate. Woo! All right, so first up, let's talk primer. So I have this Smashbox primer. It is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I have the Lacura, which is Aldi's brand, Snapshot Ready Foundation Primer. And I have a cat hair on my nose. So when I ordered this, I didn't realize I picked up the blue one, the hydrating one. Didn't know there was really a difference. Um, so this is the Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. It is oil-free though. This one's oil-free. So I'll kind of see how like these two compare anyway. I actually don't think I've ever tried any Smashbox primer before. So this will be a first for me. So I'm gonna pop some on my finger and pop that on my skin. So I think the general idea with this is the same. I think this one's just supposed to be a little bit more hydrating. Feels nice. At first it feels very kind of like gel-like, but then as it sinks into your skin, it feels a lot more moisturizing. So I like that. Now we'll try out the Lacura version. So this one is definitely a bit more like, a bit more like silicone-y, but I do remember that I think it actually is quite moisturizing on the skin. Yeah, it feels like a touch more silicone-y, but as you kind of like blend it in, it does feel a bit more moisturizing. Yeah, this side does feel a bit more tacky, but both sides of my skin do feel really, really smooth. Like if I get like this bit here, they both feel really smooth. They both feel like they've kind of like filled in my pores a little bit. Let's have a look. Okay, my skin actually looks, I mean, I know it's only primer, so I know it is very, very hard to see, but my skin looks pretty even on both sides. Like. Pores are filled in a little bit on both sides. Not like anything major, but I can see that my skin does look a little bit more like smoothed out. This side again, like you might be able to see it. Like there's just a little bit, no, you can't see that. Oh my God, you can't see that at all. There's just a little bit more of a tack to it because it is more hydrating. But this side isn't dry at all. It still does feel quite hydrating. This one is just a little bit more like, like an actual moisturizer. So yeah, obviously they are like technically different products, but my skin actually feels very, very similar on both sides. I think I like them just as much as each other. This one would be better if I wanted something a little bit more glowy, I'm guessing. So I know they are technically different products, but um, my skin feels like just as good on both sides. So yeah, I don't really have a favorite out of them, to be honest. Um, obviously, um, this might be a dupe for like the actual, like more clear version of this, but either way, I like these just as much as each other and they seem to make my skin feel the same. So yeah, I guess it is kind of a dupe. So now, Ooh, before I actually get into foundation, I brought these guys over to you. So this is the Aldi uh, Bum Bum Cream. It's called the Booty Balm. And then this is a Sol de Janeiro. Mine's a bit grubby. Um, yeah, Bum Bum Cream, as you can see. Packaging is like, apart from the lid, it's it's all very, very similar. So I know obviously you guys don't have like smell vision or anything like that, but I'm just doing a little comparison because I've actually not compared them like next to each other. They are very, very similar. This one does smell a little bit more, like a bit more rich. Like this one has, even though they both smell really strong, this one does smell a little bit more subtle. Yeah, no, there's just something that like, there's something that just like hits my nose a little deeper with this one. But the general smell is like very, very similar. It's very kind of like holiday-ish. I don't really know what the smell actually is. Does it even say? Um, Guarana extract. I think this one had, Grana extract. Yeah, this one has a grana. Uh, is that, am I even saying that right? Grana, Gu grana. I don't know, this this word here. Um, but yeah, they both have like grana extract in. Um, let's do like a little comparison. The Sol de Janeiro one is a bit thicker. Like this one is a bit more of like, yeah, a thicker cream. Whereas this one is a lot more thinner. So I'm just gonna massage that in. 
Oh, it smells so good. And then this is the actual Sol de Janeiro side. It does smell a bit different. I'm not gonna lie, it does smell a bit different. And I do think, I do think I prefer the more expensive side ever so slightly, but not enough to really like warrant paying an extra 20 quid for a pot. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's slight differences, but basically if you wanted to try the Bum Bum Cream, but you didn't want to pay like, I think it's like nearly 30 pounds or something for it. You really wouldn't be missing out if you just went straight for the Aldi one and picked this up for seven quid instead. So it's a dupe. So next we move on to foundation, which is the thing I'm probably most curious about. So basically I have this from Lacura. It's the Illusion Touch 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And then what I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for is this guy. This guy is like over a hundred pounds. Let me double check. La Prairie. Foundation, let's see. What do you guys reckon? How much do you reckon? <clears throat> oh my God. I feel like it's maybe gone up in price. I feel like when I first got this, it was like 130 pounds. On the Harrods website, it is 183 pounds. I'm sorry, what? Like, I don't care how much money you've got. Like, obviously I know I've got this, but I was sent it ages and ages ago for like a video. Who would spend 183 pounds on a foundation? And also, they've only got bloody seven shades by the looks of things. Like, the Aldi one doesn't have many shades. I only saw like three or four maybe. But still, like £183 foundation. I think when you're earning £183 per foundation, you can probably afford to invest in like a few different colours. Because right now, they're all just like beige. We've got almond beige, satin nude, sunset beige, soleil beige, soleil peach, honey beige, pure ivory. Hun I knew this was like over a hundred pounds, but 183 pounds, like that's like 200 quids. Oh man, that is bonkers. And this guy is seven pounds. You get 30 mil in both, I believe. So yeah, 30 mil in both. And then on the top here, as you can see, you've got a concealer. And then on the top on this one, you've also got a concealer. So I don't think they're the same color. Although like looking at them, they actually don't look too far off. So I don't know if the packaging has changed with this, with the La Prairie one, but you get a spatula instead of like a pump. With the Aldi one, you do get a pump, which I do prefer. So that's already like a winner to me. I mean, regardless, like it's, it's a winner in the fact that it doesn't cost 183 quid. So yeah, you've got a pump with this one. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I know it's a little bit dirty, but I'm just gonna use like some on one side and I'm gonna use like the more expensive foundation on the other side of the sponge so I'm not cheating. All right, so let's pop this on. This isn't like an amazing color match for me. So I might have to lighten it a little bit. Normally I'd mix them together, but I forgot. So I'll just kind of like, I'll just blend that in over the top. See if that works. Okay, it's 183 pounds. Like I've spent my money on silly things and I spend a lot of money on makeup, but I probably spend that much on makeup like a month. The idea of spending 183 pounds on one foundation, oh, nah. Okay, that seems to be pretty much blended in. So now I'm gonna take the La Prairie spatula thing. So obviously use that side, gonna use that side now. I'm gonna put like a similar amount on the sponge there. Right, and let's see what this is like. I haven't used this in a very, very long time. I might even do like a full video on it at some point. Ooh, it smells good, it smells very nice. It smells like old lady-ish, which I actually quite enjoy. So that that's a plus for the La Prairie foundation. Doesn't quite make it worth 183 quid, but it's got a nice smell. Color's not half bad actually. Okay, this looks kind of like, it looks like it's sitting on my skin more than the other one. Yeah, this one looks like, they both look glowy. This one looks almost like oily, which doesn't really bother me because you guys know I like slightly more like oily, glowy foundations. But yeah, this is looking a lot more like oily looking, whereas this one is just looking a bit more glowy. I'm just gonna do a little close up on my phone to show you guys. Hello, so this is the Aldi side, and then this is the La Prairie side. So as you can see, this one is looking a little bit more wet. This one is still looking very, very, it is still looking like wet, but this one's looking a lot more wet. Like this one has a lot more of a shine on my skin here. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. If this was that color, I'd prefer this one a lot. Like I'd, I'd really like this one. Um, I don't dislike this. I just feel like it's just a bit wet looking. I mean, maybe that'll all change by the time I've powdered it down. Um, but yeah, for now, so far, the Aldi size winning. So now I'm also gonna take a bit of the concealer in the top. So I'm gonna take the Lacura one and pop that over this spot here and just tap that in. Now this actually does have pretty decent coverage. Like I didn't think I'd like this, but I actually do quite like it. And I'm gonna do my under eyes as well. You can see it does give 
pretty decent coverage. I always want more under my eyes. I feel like it really does just kind of like brighten up my face, but still like I'm happy with how that looks. So now I'm even gonna take a different finger, we take my middle finger instead of the other one. This one is a lot more thick, like a lot more. Like if I, I kind of like swirl my finger around in that one, and if I swirl my finger around in this one, it's a lot more thin. Like you can see this one here, the La Prairie one is like a lot more, yeah, just thicker. Okay, that actually seems like a lot more full coverage. And it has kind of like melted down to the skin a bit more. It's a lot more brightening. Okay, to be fair, I do prefer that concealer. Uh, I still like this one. Like, it's not something I'd necessarily use all the time, but it is kind of handy to have in your foundation. But if you're like me and you like take a full makeup bag with you wherever you go pretty much, then you wouldn't really need that. Um, but if it's something that kind of like appeals to you, this is still a nice concealer on top. I do prefer the La Prairie one though, but not for 180 quid. What I'd actually rather do is I'd rather go and buy this for the foundation if this is exactly what you wanted and then buy a better concealer that's not 183 quid. But yeah, no, fair enough, that does, that does look pretty good. I do think that looks like quite brightening, quite full coverage, but it also feels moisturizing. So where I'm at right now, obviously I haven't powdered down or anything like that. Um, I, I prefer the concealer on the La Prairie. If we take like price out of it completely, I do prefer the La Prairie concealer. I prefer the Aldi foundation though. And then, I mean, as soon as we put the price into, into the equation, I'm like, no. Is it an exact dupe as it sits on my skin right now? They are both glowy. They both do have a similar kind of coverage. So I'd say it's like, I'd say it is a dupe. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like bang on, but it's like a good dupe for the price. I need to blend out my little sideburns a bit. All right, so now a product that I am very, very curious about. These literally look, if I like hide the branding, they literally look like pretty much exactly the same. Wouldn't you say? Like even down to like the kind of suede packaging, they do look so, so similar. So this is the Lacura Radiant Concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So the Lacura one that I have is in the shade Latte and the NARS one that I have is in the shade Canel. So first of all, I'm gonna take the Aldi one and sweep that under my eyeballs. So you like four little swoops. This is what I always used to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for. So that's why I'm kind of like using it over the top of whatever's under my eyes right now. I find it's a good like highlighting concealer. It's not the best like concealing concealer, but if you do want to like highlight your under eyes or like your forehead or something, this is really, really good. I like this concealer a lot. The Aldi one, I really, really liked it. Regardless of whether or not it's a dupe, I think it's a really, really good concealer. So now we're gonna test it out in comparison to the NARS one. So I've noticed that the doe foot does pick up a bit more product. It seems like the NARS one is slightly thinner maybe. Yeah, the NARS one does seem a little bit more creamy. Literally haven't used this in so, so long. Okay, the NARS is more full coverage. It's not necessarily a full coverage concealer. It's kind of like a medium full, but this one is more full coverage than the Aldi side. I don't know if you guys can see it all, but like, I mean, I guess I have got the La Prairie side on this side as well, but I can notice it is a lot more like brightening and a bit more full coverage. But again, like there's really not much in it. Yeah, the NARS is a little more full coverage. That is like one main difference that I've noticed. So yeah, you get more coverage from NARS, but if you do kind of double up with the Aldi one, it's not far off really. Actually, it looks, it looks pretty damn similar to be honest. They're not far off in terms of color. So I'd actually say that's a pretty banging dupe to be honest. I guarantee this stuff is gonna sell out quick as like more people start talking about it. So yeah, I'm actually gonna pick up a few extras when I next go in. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and powder everything down. I'm just using my Laura Mercier powder on both sides because I don't have like an Aldi dupe for anything. I'm just gonna take some in the lid and I'm gonna set the NARS side and then set the Aldi side. How are we looking here? This side looks a bit more dry. This, this side does look a bit more dry. Only really where like I've layered up with the other one, like more so like on the inner corner. Okay, where, where's my voice going? But it's really not that noticeable. Like you don't really notice it if you were like up in my face like that. And if you were, I'd be like, step away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and powder the rest of my face down. So La Prairie side, that looks all right. It does look more matte than I'd want, but it's like, I think it's quite a matte foundation anyway. So beggars can't be choosers. And then this side, very similar actually. Like once they're powdered down, they do look pretty much exactly the same. I'd actually maybe even say that the Aldi side isn't sinking into my smile lines as much. Give it time, because foundations always do with me. 
Yeah, they look really, really similar when they're powdered down. Like when they're not powdered down, I wouldn't really say it's like, it is somewhat of a dupe, but I wouldn't say it's like, yeah, 100% dupe. But this, I'm thinking like, okay, it actually looks exactly the same. Oh man, could you imagine buying that 183 pound foundation and like then finding out that Aldi do an exact dupe? Like seriously, look at that. The texture's the same, a little bit dry around here, but then it's also a little bit dry around here, a little bit dry around my nose, a little bit dry around my nose. It really is so similar. So yeah, just in case any of you were thinking about spending 183 pounds on a foundation, uh, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Grab this instead, give it a go, see what you think. They are so similar, man. All right, so now we're gonna be trying out probably one of the most like obvious dupes. So this is obviously the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is the Lacura Aloha Bronzer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Benefit and pop that on my cheeks. Super pigmented, I haven't used this in a little while. I always forget to use this. I feel like it just kind of like gets lost in my drawer, but it's so good. Bit nice. So now, just like dusting off my brush in my hand, I'm gonna go in with the Lacura one, do a couple of taps of that. I feel like this one's a bit more cool toned. Yeah, the Lacura one is a bit more cool toned. And you do need a bit more product. This one's up my forehead. They're not that far off though. Like once they're actually like on your cheeks and blended in, they're really not that far off. I do personally prefer the color of Hula a touch, but I like bronzers that are kind of like cool tone and warm tone because you can kind of use them as like contour and bronzer at the same time. And I feel like that one works a bit better for that kind of thing. But the Aloha bronzer I'd say is a little bit better for like sculpting out your face, but you can still kind of like blend it up and use it as a bronzer. But on the skin, they really don't look that different. Yeah, it's almost like Hula's a little bit more olivey, which is what I like. But again, like I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh my God, it's so much better. Like if you guys don't wanna spend all that money on Hula. If you're on a budget, if you just don't want to spend that money, this is very, very similar. You wouldn't really notice a difference. Sorry, Benefit, I love you. So here we have Nars Orgasm and Nars Orgasm. It may as well be, to be honest, because literally, like, how similar is this packaging? It's literally, like, come from the same factory, pretty much. It's the same, like, soft touch feeling. The colors do look different in the pan, though. They do look different. Like, Orgasm does look a lot brighter. And when I tried this one out, it was a bit chalky and I wasn't like blown away by it. It was just more of like a shimmer. I had a look online after I did that first Aldi video, by the way, and I couldn't see this anywhere. So I'm ha I have a feeling that maybe, because I also couldn't see the Charlotte Tilbury, like film star bronze and glow little duo that Aldi had. Um, I couldn't see that or this anywhere on the website or anywhere at all. So I feel like maybe Something's gone on, some little legal action situation because they also changed the packaging of most things. Oh my God, there's an eyelash in my eye. So I feel like maybe there was some sort of legal action that went on and Aldi kind of had to like take away their makeup and bring it back out. Like if we even just like take the lettering here, even like the way the S crosses over on the logo and stuff, it's so slight. I'm not surprised if that is what happened. My conspiracy theory, allegedly, don't know if it's true, um, but yeah. Couldn't find this anywhere. So I don't know if you can still get your hands on it. I don't think you can, but still it's fun to give it a go. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using for my bronzer and I'm gonna go in with Orgasm and I'm gonna dust that on my cheeks. I feel like that's not even really showing up. There we go. Well, that's quite a lot. Whoops, just, just blot that down. It's fine. Okay, so there's Orgasm. Again, like fully dust that off. And then I'm gonna go in with the fake Orgasm it's like a real orgasm and then when you fake it, that's literally what this is like. Sorry if you're like under 12 and you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Yeah, like this one just has a lot more glow to it. So like, it's not really a blush. I'd say it's more of like a blush topper, if anything. So like not quite a highlight, just like adds a slight little sheen and no real like pinkiness. Um, but we'll persevere. I'm gonna see if I can make it look the same just by building it up a bit. I mean, we're kind of getting there, kind of, almost, maybe. Yeah, you can see it a little bit more. So you do need to build it up quite a bit. I think I put like four or five layers of that on. I have gone a little bit OTT with this side though, like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Fenton! Okay, yeah, blot it down. They're not far off. Um, this one is, I, I prefer Nars Orgasm a lot more. 
and they are different. This one is a bit more shimmery. It's not really that pigmented as a blush. So yeah, I think NARS Orgasm is better. There are tons of dupes for NARS Orgasm though. Um, I'm sure there's like loads of things on Pinterest if you guys were looking for a dupe for it. This, I wouldn't say necessarily is. It's like, it's like kind of there. It's like a, a little hint of it, but um, yeah, it's just too shimmery. It's too pale pink. It takes too long to like build it up to be any kind of color anyway. So yeah, that's a bit of a dud. All right, so next we're gonna move on to highlighter. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical about this because as you can see, packaging is very, very similar. We've obviously got like the same kind of packaging from Aldi for the highlighter. And then we've got Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit. But the product doesn't look the same. Like, Dandelion Twinkle looks a bit more like, yeah, just, just pinky and lighter. And then this one's a bit more like champagne-y. Let's do a couple of little swatches. This is Dandelion Twinkle. Why can I not swatch my middle finger on the side? And then this is the Aldi side. So let's do like a swatch here of the Aldi one. Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? How am I supposed to swatch on that hand with this finger, right? Let me redo that. Right, let me take another swatch of Dandelion Twinkle. There we go. So I don't know if you can see, but the Aldi one is a bit more metallic and this was a bit more champagne-y. So I'm not sure if this is necessarily a proper dupe. I think they're maybe just packaging it like this to kind of obviously like go with the bronzer, maybe. Conspiracy theory. Do, 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 do. But yeah, still, we're gonna give them a go, see how they kind of compare. So first of all, I'm gonna take Dandelion Twinkle and pop that on my little face. Oh! I don't think I've ever actually used it. I think, I think I've swatched it before, but I don't think I've ever actually properly used this. It is a bit more subtle than my usual get up, but still very, very pretty. So that was the brush that I used for Dandelion Twinkle. I'm now gonna take the same brush, but like different brush. So like the same Luxe Powder Fusion, but it's actually a different brush. And I'm gonna go in with the Aldi one. It does seem a little bit more powdery, like less finely milled. Yeah, it's like adding a bit more texture to my skin. I prefer the color and the finish of this one. This is still really nice but similar effects. The color isn't that much different. This one is slightly lighter um, and it is a little bit more subtle. But again, like if you were after a highlighter and if you were just shopping an Aldi and you thought I want a new highlighter, this is really nice. I don't really have like, I don't really have any ties to either of them. I like them both. I will keep them both. I will use them both. Obviously the fact that this one is a whole lot cheaper does make me kind of sway towards this one a bit, but the benefit one does look better on the skin. So kind of down to you. If you're like dying for Dandelion Twinkle, it's not a proper dupe of it, but if you were just dying for a new highlighter that's nice and cheap, this is a good one. All right, so now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. So for that, I have two palettes. I was gonna say two different palettes, but again, they are pretty much exactly the same. The packaging obviously looks a bit different, but it's when we kind of open everything up. This is obviously the Aldi one. You see that? And then we'll open up the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. And we'll just do a little comparison here. Oh, they really haven't, like, subtlety is not your strong point, Aldi. I love it, I'm not gonna lie, I, I love it. But subtlety is, yeah, it's not your strong point. Um, these are pretty much identical, even down to, like, the placement. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the shade Latte, and I'm gonna be dusting off my brush in between each time that I do my eyeshadow, so if you don't see me actually doing it, trust me, I'm doing it off camera. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm then gonna take Sourced from Urban Decay. Okay, that one's instantly a lot more pigmented. And I did the same kind of like up and down swipe on the pan. Yeah, that's a lot more pigmented. This side is still nice, but Urban Decay is definitely winning right now. I'm gonna try and build that up a little bit more on the Aldi side, just so we kind of like look somewhat similar. The colors really aren't far off though. Like the colors are pretty bang on. So now I'm gonna take Toffee, which is this shade here and also kind of like work that on the crease or on the lid and in the crease. And then start to dust that on the lid and then just start to blend that up. Dust you off, old friend. I'm then gonna go in with Low Blow. So again, a couple of little swipes. There's more kickback in the Urban Decay one, but they are more pigmented. So then I'm gonna go in the crease again and then also work it onto the lid. So when you can see like, that's obviously like the first first go of me using that, like, it's like the first like application of that eyeshadow. And it has already, it's pretty much there with it to be honest. I'm gonna go in for a couple of little more taps, just picking up like the dust on top. And just feather that on my lid and then just blend that upwards again. Yeah, I mean, again, like so far very, very similar. 
I'm now going to take this random ass brush from Primark and I'm going, going to go in the same shade. Literally, I cannot speak today, so toffee. And run that on my lower lash line. I don't really want to do anything crazy today. I'm feeling quite like, quite minimal, quite neutral. Dust that off and then go in with low blow again. You can see that is a fair amount more pigmented. Like there's still loads left on my brush right now. Ooh, I really like how dark that's gone actually. I might even pack some of that on my lid. Yeah, I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid with that brush that I'm using on my lower lash line. Just cause I really, really like the color that it's giving me. And then obviously dust that off and do the same on the other side with the Aldi palette. And it's just more subtle. I feel like I'm not quite getting the depth on the Aldi one as I did with the Urban one. It's not too much difference. Like again, it's barely noticeable, but it's just something I've noticed. And then I'm just gonna dust off my brush and go back over what I've done with the fluffy brush. Dust it off again, and then even myself up on this side. Damn Aldi, you really weren't playing around, were you? All right, let's do some sort of shimmer. Uh, what do I wanna do? I'm feeling like maybe, yeah, I think this like kind of deep, like literally look at those swatches next to each other. That one's from Urban. That one's from Aldi. They really do look so similar. Urban is more pigmented again, as like you could see then, like I can literally go down like that for ages. So Urban is a lot more pigmented. That is just like, it's kind of a given, I think. Yeah, let's whack a little bit of that on. So I'm gonna go in with the Aldi palette to start off with. A couple of little swipes. And pop that on my lid. A couple more swipes. Could be more shimmery. It's quite tame. So I'm gonna leave that there for a second and blend it out in a minute. Take whatever's left. Like I'm literally just like, I'm turning into just like an arm of swatches. And then I'm going to take Ember from the Urban Palette. So again, two swipes. Yeah, see that one's gone on more like a foil. Also the Aldi one does have a fair bit of fallout, I have noticed. Yeah, that just seems to be a bit more opaque. Ooh, I like that. It is easier to use the Urban Decay Palette, but you can get a very, very similar look, almost like identical look with this one. You just need to like, You'll use up the product, you'll, you'll use up the palette quicker, I think. I might even wet my brush a touch just to see like if we can get that a bit more intense because I feel like we kind of need it. There it is. Yeah, so wet your brush with the shimmers, makes them a whole lot better. And then again, I'm just gonna take that fluffy brush that I was using before. In fact, I might take a little bit of that first shade that I used. So sourced in the Urban Palette and just blend that out. Really make it like super grungy. I'm actually gonna clean that up a bit as well, I think. And then dust it off. Go in with Latte from the Aldi palette. It's getting very confusing. Like this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm gonna try and blow away the fall out of my face. <sighs> I find it sometimes works better if I do it like that than like brushing off. Sometimes it can just like stick to your skin. <sighs> try it, top tip. Uh, take a little bit more and just buff out the low lash line. And I think we are pretty much there. Yeah, I mean, let's be real here. Are they that different? No, they're really not that different at all, to be honest. I mean, I do need to clean up both sides. Like, I don't know what I've done with like the tail of this here. Damn, man, they're, they're really, really similar. I will say Urban Decay is easy to use. It is better quality shadows. But like, again, if you don't want to spend the cash, you're not going to notice a massive difference. All right, so now we're gonna move on to probably like the most like infamous dupe that Aldi have done. Um, bet you can't tell which one's which. They're real, too legit. I literally love the names that they come out with. So obviously this is Benefit, they're real. And then this is too legit. And this is what the one looks like in comparison. Pretty much identical. Again, like I'm gonna do a little close up for you. Now look at that. So this is the Aldi one. They've both got like the little spiky bits on the end. Aldi is slightly thicker. Both plastic ones, both got little like spiky bristles. Very, very similar. So first of all, I'm gonna take the Benefit one and just do one little wiggle. Two, three, four. I'm counting just to see if I can like make it even. Five, six, 15, 16. Right, so 16 little wiggles to get that. Let's try and do the same on this side. One thing I did notice about this is that the formula seems a bit more dry. One, two, three, 11, 14. Okay, barely anything in it. I think Benefit is slightly blacker, but again, you wouldn't really notice it. It's only because I'm like 
properly trying to look for differences. Um, the Benefit is slightly blacker and it's made my lashes a bit thicker. Other than that, they look the same length. They look the same kind of like separation. I see there's maybe a little bit more product on my lashes on the Benefit side, which is making them look a little bit thicker, but really barely anything in it. I'd say this is probably one of the best dupes out of all of them because it really is just like, it gives such a similar look. I'm just gonna go over the top of these a little bit more. That was about 10, I think. And then I'll do some of my lower lashes like that. And then we'll do the two legit sides, add a bit more onto my lashes now that it's kind of dried up a bit. And then lower lashes. It just seems like you get a bit more product like onto your lash from the brush from the benefit side. But spend a few extra like 30 seconds building it up and they are pretty much identical. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm looking a little bit weird right now. No brows, nothing on my lips. So I do have a lipstick from Aldi, but I cannot for the life of me figure out what this is a dupe of. I'm thinking maybe bourgeois. I'm also thinking maybe sleek, but I couldn't find the dupe of the color. So let me know if you guys know what it's supposed to be a dupe of, if it's supposed to be a dupe of anything. Um, I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand. It looks a lot like Mac Whirl. I don't actually have Whirl, but um, yeah. Maybe a potential dupe for that. So what I'm now gonna do is go off camera, sort out my lips, do something to these beige ass brows of mine, and I will check back with you guys for my final thoughts. All right guys, so I'm back, feeling very 90s right now. I didn't really intend to go this like, but here we are. I'm kind of digging the look though. Uh, so this is the finished look um, on my lips. I know some of you guys will ask. I've got a mixture of the Jamie Genevieve lipstick and what lip liner was it? NYX Dark Brown. That's it. Just kind of blend it all together and here we are. I'm actually obsessed with this look. I don't think it looks like two different full faces on each side at all. I think they actually look pretty much exactly the same. So it's a little bit later in the day now. It is five o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna go about my day. I do have my sister coming over later and I'm just gonna be like chilling out for a few hours. I'm probably not gonna be able to do like a super long check-in because I do need to run a few errands later. Um, but I'm just gonna see how this wears over the next few hours and then we'll kind of like compare the more expensive side to the Aldi side and see how it goes. But like right now, I'm very impressed. Like now my full face is done. There are barely any like inconsistencies with each side. Very impressed. All right guys, so it is a fair few hours later. I feel like I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. Uh, I, did, I did some hoovering. I did, why do I always just seem to be doing hoovering in these videos? I'm trying to keep on top of the housework in this new place. So it is now 10 o'clock, which means I've had this makeup on for around about five hours. Uh, lipstick has completely worn off. Had a lovely fish finger sandwich and some super noodles, adulting. Let's have a little look. Uh, so yeah, the lip liner has like completely worn off. Um, eyeshadow looks pretty much exactly the same. I mean, apart from like the usual kind of wear and tear that I get from wearing makeup, I mean, I I wipe, I remember rubbing my nose earlier because I need to sneeze and I was like this. So the makeup has gone from my nose a little bit, um, a little bit from my chin, but nothing major. Like from where you guys are sitting, I probably don't look that different. Maybe just a little bit more like shiny. Um, it looks decent though. Like both sides look good. When I say like it, it looks decent, I'm talking both sides. So I'd say the dupes are pretty damn good. I'd actually say maybe there's even like a little bit less creasing on the Aldi side for like the foundation stuff. Concealer creasing is the same. Eyeshadow has worn a little bit better on this eye, but again, not much. Mascara looks the same. Highlighter, still got it. And bronzers, yeah kind of stayed on pretty well as well. So overall, um, Aldi dupes are worth it. They seem pretty decent to me. Like a few are a little bit like eh, almost, but not quite. But other than that, like pretty much all the Aldi dupes that we've tried today are pretty spot on to like the more high end version. So I'm a fan. And now I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder what their skincare is like. Hmm. Testing Aldi skincare video, anyone? Anyone, let me know down below. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of you guys found it helpful. I know a lot of you were after me doing this little side-by-side -side comparison. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And that's about it from me. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.